I'm Allie Buckman with the Potomac Bead Company, and I am doing a kind of product spotlight, more of a tutorial for you guys today on what is the difference between certain bees. I get this question asked a lot, are some interchangeable? Can you use this for that? And so on. So I thought one of the ones that I get a lot is for the tile versus the tila. And then in the middle here, I have some others too that I'll show you that kind of go along with are in the same family. So the big difference with the three here on the right versus these six on the left are that they are produced in Japan versus the Czech Republic. So the actual process of the manufacturing of the glass and the extruding versus the pressing is gonna be different. And that's the main difference between them is how they are manufactured and how they are made. If you are interested in learning how they're manufactured or made, we do have a YouTube video as far as the check beads go that you can kind of watch all the different manufacturing process. Completely fascinating. And I really loved um, the opportunity to go and actually see the manufacturing happening and in process it really gave me a way deeper appreciation for all the different check glass that we carry and that we have. When looking at the tile bead here, so these are checkmate bead, so the checkmate brand, the tile itself is six millimeter. When you look at the tile it has two holes that run parallel to one another going from one to the side left and right. So it's unlike a silky, which they have them kind of on the corners. This one is parallel. And like I said, it is six millimeter in size. Lines up super nicely. We've had a bunch of different videos that have used the tile. And if you want to see any of those video videos, you can actually go to the homepage of this YouTube channel, go to the little magnifying glass and search for it. Then anything that I've done with the tiles will come up for you guys. They come in really cool colors. And again, they're the six millimeter Whereas the Tila beads are a five millimeter. You can also see right away, in addition to the difference in size, and this is just a light beige color, and then the um, opaque cobalt Picasso in the Tila. When you're looking at them, the Tila beads also have the two holes that run parallel one to the other. Because of the process and the way that they're done, one side when you look at the tila bead is actually more flat than the other side and one side is a little tiny bit puffed. It's really hard to see unless you are looking at one with like a finish or a mat. You can usually see it better. You can see it a little bit here that that top is a tiny bit more rounded than the bottom. It's the extrusion versus the actual pressing of the glass. So for the Japanese style bead here, it's much thinner, which I don't know if something this thin could be done this long actually with the pressing. I'll have to get back for you guys on that. But the cool thing of the tila bead is really how thin it is. So you're looking at the tila versus the tile. And you can see the difference here in the thickness. The tile is a lot thicker, almost double the thickness of the tila bead. However, they do have right about the same hole size. In some patterns, you will be able to just kind of change it up a little bit, maybe add one more 15 next to the ends of the tila beads, but you can change the tila for the tile bead. There's one in particular I'm thinking about that's a, like a patchwork. You can change those up, no problem. It's not gonna be an issue. There are other ones that kind of form one another. And again, if you search for tile or tila, you are, I'm sorry, tile or tila on our homepage, you can see the different videos that come up with it. The other beads that I have sitting here just to give you a sense of kind of different colors that are manufactured. And then I have some other beads here in the middle. The Tila bead, which is produced again by Mayuki in Japan, also comes in a half Tila now. This is about a year or so ago that they introduced uh, the half Tila bead. So about a year and a half ago, the half Tila came out. The half Tila again is half of the size of the Tila. So when you're looking at them side by side, they're half this size. They are also that thinness and that thin um, layer basically like the Tila bead. Two half Tila's together will make a Tila. So if you do have a certain color in half Tila that you're looking for or in Tila or um, that you wanna make a Tila, you can always put two together and get your Tila. Those are the Japanese ones, the Tila and the half Tila. Also, some people will say Tyla. Um, 
I talked to the guys at Mayuki. Tila is how they pronounce it. So um, that's what I go with. So going back to the Czech products, the tile bead. And then up here, I have the jet and just the opaque green to show you here. Also have, Checkmate also manufactures a two-hold bar. So if you can see, the bar here is right about half of a tile. It's a little bit, it's a little bit less than half the tile. So, however, two of these together will make you a tile bead if you have the two bars next to one another. Just to complicate things a little bit more and try to kind of give you guys more information, Checkmate also makes a two-hold bar. So we have the Checkmate tile, then we have the brick, which is gonna be about half a tile, and then we have the two-hold bar, which is gonna be about half a brick. There are many patterns with these as well, and again, sometimes these are interchangeable. So you have the bar, the brick, and then the tile. So when you're looking at them, that's gonna be, it's hard to set that one right up on the side there. So you can see the width, but it's about half of that bar, or the bar is about half the brick. When you're working with them, like I said, sometimes they're interchangeable, sometimes they are not. Keep in mind that if a designer did something and made something with the tilas or with the tiles, they had those in mind to use. If you wanna use something else, great for you. A lot of designers I know I love when people take my designs, things that I've done, and try it out with different beads. That is going to make it a little bit more challenging and a little bit more of a design for you because sometimes the counts in the beads have to change. So if you are using seed beads kind of around it, you might need to put a 15 here or a 15 there to kind of make up for it. If you're thinking, oh, I have a bar, but I wanna use a brick instead, how do I have to change that? So it just takes a little fiddling, but a lot of times you can substitute and you can use different products in the same patterns and the same designs. That also makes them look often completely different and you get a completely new product that you'd be happy with that is a new pattern that looks different than one you previously made using the alternative bead. So again, just to kind of reiterate the fact for you, there is the Tila bead, which is going to be that little five millimeter square shape, very thin, about a two, a little bit less than a two millimeter thickness. And then we have the half Tila that was manufactured to be half the size of the Tila bead, hence the name half Tila. Then from the Czech Republic, we have the tile bead manufactured by Checkmate. And then we also have their brick and their bar. And those beads are, again, done through, um, are done in the Czech Republic versus Japan, which is gonna get you that different kind of texture, the different look of the beads as well. And there's definitely a huge difference in the thickness between the two products. So there's definitely that thickness. If you do need any of these materials to kind of play around with or get, uh, you can go to the bottom of this video here to the little description. We'll put links to all of the different beads that I went over and kind of cleared up for you guys. Also on the left hand side here, I'll do a little drop down for you for some of those links to get tilas, get tiles, get half tilas, all of that. If you are on a mobile device, you'll just have to go down to the description. Those little pop-ups won't pop up for you. Hopefully you guys found this informative. I know I get the question a lot, so I figured I'd do some videos on what can be used in place of something else. What is this versus that? Because there are tons of new beads out there, which is an awesome thing, uh, really flooding the industry because it gives you so many options and allows you to really design and be more creative. But it also allows us to kind of clear up some things for you guys. What is this? Can it be used for that? And so on. So again, if you want to, you can subscribe to this YouTube channel and we'd be happy to have you to learn different designs, watch the videos on things like this, product updates, as well as actual design videos doing actual patterns. You can also always refer this video to a friend if they have the question, they wanna see kind of the difference of what the beads are right away, or do that same thing for any of the videos. And again, a little hint, which a lot of people don't know, if you do go back to our main YouTube page, it's a little header and it has a little music play, there's a magnifying glass below the video on the kind of middle to right hand side. Click on that and you can put in the name of any of the products and any of the videos that we do with those products will pop up for you guys. And that way you can see, well, what have they done with the bricks or the bars and so forth and so on. 
As always, you can stay connected with us through Facebook, through going to our website, potomacbeads.com, or also through joining our Facebook group for jewelry and or for beading and jewelry making. Ask to become a member there, and we'd love to interact with you guys, get your opinions, get your questions, get your ideas for videos, see what you guys create with all these wonderful products, and really a great interaction way to communicate with other people that love the art, love making jewelry, and really have a great time. Thanks so much for watching, everybody, and have a wonderful rest of your day.